Up until now, we have kept state inside a single component. That's great for simple cases, but in production apps, you will often have multiple components that all need to rely on the same changing data. So in this lesson, let's walk through what happens when components need to share state and how we handle it in React. Back in VS Code, we'll start by creating a new file called shoppingcart.jsx. First, let's build a simple product card component. So export const product card is equal to an arrow function. We'll give each product card its own state to track quantity. So import use state hook at the top and within the component, we'll define a state variable called quantity, the setter function set quantity and the initial value zero. Let's add a return statement with some JSX div tag. And we want to show a product name, price, and the current quantity. We'll add an H3 tag that renders the text React course, a paragraph tag for price 49.99, and a quantity paragraph that renders the state variable quantity. Let's make sure the spelling is correct. Next, let's add a button to increment the quantity. So a button that says add to cart, on click of the button, we'll have an arrow function that calls the set quantity setter function, passing in quantity plus one. Now let's create a second component called cart summary, which as the name suggests, will show a cart summary. Export const cart summary, is equal to an arrow function. And for now, let's just hard code some values. So return a div tag with h3 cart summary, paragraph tag that says total items zero, and another paragraph total price zero dollars. Next, we'll create a shopping cart component that uses both product card and cart summary components. And I'll define this at the top. Export const shopping cart is equal to an arrow function. This returns a div tag that renders product card and cart summary. Let's import and use this shopping cart component in app.jsx. Import shopping cart from dot slash shopping cart and invoke the component. Let's save the files and check this in the browser. We see the individual product card and the card summary components rendered. React course 49.99, quantity initially zero, an add to card button. And then we have the card summary, which is total items zero, total price zero dollars. We can click add to card and the quantity inside the product card component goes up. But notice the card summary doesn't update. It always shows zero items and zero dollars. Granted that we are rendering static values, zero and zero dollars, the reason we are not able to render the same quantity and price is because these two components, product card and card summary, don't share state. The product card component manages its own quantity and card summary has no idea this is happening. This is the perfect moment to talk about lifting state up. When multiple components need the same data, we move the state to the closest common parent. In this case, the shopping cart component. Let's refactor the code step by step. First, let's add state to the parent component. And we'll use an object to track quantities for multiple products. Use state, let's call this cart items. The function set cart items. And the initial value is an object with react course zero and view course zero. And let's add an h2 to make this clear. This is shopping cart component. So we now have state in the parent, but product card still has its own internal state. Let's fix that. Instead of having local state, product card will now receive everything it needs as props. So destructure, name, price, quantity, and on and to cart. Let's update the JSX to use these props. 
h3 is going to be the name prop after the dollar sign we'll render the price prop quantity is now going to be the quantity prop instead of state on click of add to cart we call on add to cart there's no more state in this component because the parent controls the data back in shopping cart let's create handlers to update each product so const handle add react course is equal to an arrow function we call set cart items we pass in a new object but we spread cart items and then update react course to cart items dot react course plus one we're using the spread operator to keep all existing values and just update the react course quantity let's add a similar handler for the view course as well const handle add view course is equal to an arrow function set cart items spread the existing cart items object and update view course to cart items dot view course plus one now let's update the jsx to pass all the necessary props to product card component so product card name is equal to react course price is equal to 49.99 quantity is equal to cart items dot react course remember our state is an object cart items dot react course and then on add to cart we will assign the handle add react course function we just defined this increments the react course quantity by one now this product cart is for react let's add a second product cart for the view course we can copy and paste the product cart component update the name to view course price 39.99 or 59.99 quantity cart items dot view course and on add to cart handle add view course increments the view course quantity by one perfect our shopping cart and product card components are now in sync next let's update our card summary component to actually use the same cart data let's add the necessary props this will accept the cart items state as well as the prices inside the component let's calculate the totals total items is equal to cart items dot react course plus cart items dot view course so we're adding the quantities for the total price so const total price let's multiply the quantities by prices cart items dot react course multiplied by prices dot react course plus cart items dot view course times prices dot view course now let's update the jsx to show these calculated values total items we render total items constant and total price dollar sign curly braces total price and we can do dot fixed to two back in the parent let's define the prices and pass the props we'll create a prices object so const prices is equal to an object where we specify react course 49.99 and view course 39.99 now let's pass the cart items and prices to cart summary the cart summary cart items is equal to the state variable cart items and prices is equal to the object we just defined prices and now that we have the prices object we can also update the product card component props this is going to be prices dot react course and prices dot view course so the shopping cart component owns the state and it passes the same state to product card as well as card summary let's test this go back to the browser refresh when we click add to cart on the react course both the quantity and the cart summary update same for view course add to cart quantity one total items two and the total price 89.98 the state is now shared between components
This is the power of lifting state up. The parent component owns the state and passes it down to children who need it. Let's add one more feature just to show how the parent can control behavior. We will update the React course handler to limit the quantity to five. So if cart items dot react course is less than five, only then we execute the existing logic. Back in the browser, refresh. And if you try clicking more than five times, nothing happens. The parent decides the rule and the child components follow it. Let's also add a button to clear the card. So after handle add view course, clear card is equal to an arrow function. We call set card items, passing in an object where react course is zero and view course is also zero. And we'll add a button to the JSX button that says clear card, on click, clear card. Back in the browser, refresh, add a couple of React and View courses, total item seven, total price $309, clear cart, and everything is reset. All components update because they're all reading from the same shared state. All right, let me summarize the key points. When two or more components need the same changing data, lift the state up. Put that state in the closest common parent. The component with use state owns the data and controls how it changes. Children receive the state as props. Children request changes by calling set of functions passed down from the parent. You will use this pattern constantly as your applications grow and is an essential concept to understand. All right, that wraps up everything you need to know about the use state hook in React.